It's me. I don't know. I'm about to care about it back when. All right. Well. Let's go into the dark, spooky, ominous home of Tyson. Oh god, it's dark! It's dark! It's dark! Oh, now it's light. Wow, look at this weeb shit. Weeb <laughs> shit. So, we got an unboxing video. The weeby unboxing video! <laughs> the game face. Voodoo shotgun. It's weeblicious! And also remember, it's slam fire. Shoots as fast as you can pump. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that they. I don't think. Marketing <laughs> is on point! <laughs> Clearly not a freaking children's toy with that comment on there. After <laughs> using this gun, your arm will be stronger for longer. <laughs> it's a freaking Ow. synthetic plastic material. I don't think it's gonna be that strong. No, no, you just you can pump it so much. <laughs> so this isn't gonna be like a new. It's just gonna be just an unbox unboxing. See how it handles. Probably take some shots out into a field if we can. Or walking outside and shoot a neighbor's house. I don't know. Something fun. Uh, sadly, target practice is not here, so let's go and... He's gonna take the that. I'm gonna take the that. He's gonna take the that. Jeez, they work for opening almost everything. Houses, doors... Human little, bodies. little. <laughs> 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 Apparently, you can open key, open little children with keys. <laughs> Everyone has a key to their heart. In Kingdom Hearts. Hey. Kingdom Farts. Kingdom Farts. So first off, that one's pointed at you, Alex. User's manual that was opened upside down. User's manual. Users of manuals. And the manual users. <sighs> uh, different language that I don't understand, so... <laughs> safety on or safety off? I'll tell you which, which direction my safety's going. <laughs> Little... Silica... Ju oh my god! M! They took silica from Sword Art. Yeah, it's, it's so much better. You get seven That's a small silica. <laughs> they took the piece of her. Oh my god. I suck at this game. Pump it up. <laughs> Uh, sort our references. Stop! Do not return this product to the store. Our friendly customer servant, so. <laughs> Can you read it? <coughs> Recording as you read. Um, the heck is that? It's a little speed loader. Okay, this is a little bit heavier than what I thought. The ramrod for the speed loader. This is a ramrod. Ramrod. Car ramrod. Car ramrod. Ram ram. Yeah. Interesting. Still sounds like Len. Okay, that this has this has to happen because I'm wearing the jacket. But hold on. Hold on, this has to happen. What? This is the most they make out. Bots. Ready, Tyson? Dots. Yes. 
RPD, get on the ground! He's pumping it up! <laughs> yeah. It's got a decently good weight to it. So Brandon, explain to us a little bit about this model. Oops. What should I call you? Leon? <laughs> I don't know. So Beastmaster 64! <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Had a victory. I work for Umbrella Corporation. I'm part of the RPD. Who knew? So that is the right RPD one. Master. I don't know. The RPD Master. RPD uh, Master PlayStation 1. What am I, Chief Ions? <laughs> we should call you Mr. X, the reviewer. <laughs> I'm a damn pirate. <laughs> but, uh, I still don't I don't know the exact name model that this shotgun is based off. I think it's an... I think it's supposed to be like a, uh... A Walter... Walter 2000 shotgun. I'm only going based off of the one that I've seen on Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Uh, adjustable sling for it. So that way, when you're not using it, you can just... Hey look, it's Leon from Resident Evil 2! <laughs> this is literally... Ah. Although I am missing the handgun, so... Yeah. Yeah. That's okay, just use some gunpowder. Make gun Matilda appear! Go get her out of your box! <laughs> Crap, I forgot! I dismantled her! <laughs> oh wait, I got rid of the Matilda! <coughs> oh no! With her, with her giant freaking shotgun freaking handle. That's not a shotgun handle, that was an extended mag. No, not that one, the other, the other extra piece. The one that looks like a shotgun butt. Oh, the, uh, the, uh... Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> Good thing we landed in here. Except for a couple. We found them. <laughs> Trying to find white pellets on a white sheet. This'll work. We can use black light. Just, just quick, act like... <laughs> but... This is how you read the instructions, read the instructions, read the instructions. This is how you read the instructions upside down. Wait, you believe in reading? Dipping dots? No, look, I believe in dots. <laughs> Except Pop. for the T is wrong. Dots. Thank you for that detail. <laughs> okay, so. What was that? What? Science drive bys are amazing. So, we got can't it. even see you. We got it loaded. Oh, yeah. Um, okay. I'm tempted just to see yeah. who the range could be and take a shot right outside the door. Let's do it. Nobody said the floor was there. No one knew about it really. Didn't know that. Going outside for shooting. Maybe. It's not free. No, never mind. Going outside to shoot it. Probably because of the costume. There's someone banging on the door. Hang on to that for a second. Uh, 
take the camera away. I look like trash. You look trash at that. Do you want to see how ridiculous this all good. is on okay. the chart? I gotta get my shoes on. <laughs> What's that? That's not bad. Um, um. Oh yeah, let's go. What are you doing? Um. There we go. I didn't. <laughs> Damn. I know I'm going to fail. Where's that pack of silica? <laughs> you can go. It exists! Um, where's that pack of silica? I don't know. Sorry. I can go there and then one next I was going to grab the pack and blow it. And blow it? I was going to set the pack on top of the barrel and just go boom. There's also One of my neighbors. Just uh, do it like in between the buildings over there. Snow pile. That's a good idea. Snow pile. Okay, that's kind of loud. <laughs> Did even anything go? Yeah, it should have. Should have. Huh. Yeah, it went. So I'll go the off the edge. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it does work. Oh, yeah. Gotta make sure it has a, you hear the double click. Click, click. Oh. I'm gonna go through the police station. I'm I gonna find. No, nope, that's how you're supposed to wear them. Painful. Listen, Represent. There we go. Resident now we can see you. Original Resident Evil 2 in a nutshell. <clears throat> oh god, zombies. Oh god, tyrant. Yes, run up. through majority of the game. <laughs> ah. Run away, run away. Save ammo for boss. Run at the boss like a maniac. I ran out of ammo. Go back, go back. Oh, I died. You know, I'm glad in Resident Evil they didn't have that stupid mechanic where you have to go. Oh, like in the old one? Yeah, you could literally run around with your gun doing this. <laughs> it's so strong. Hey, at least. The control mechanic. Yeah, you try and sit there. You're going this way from. You run at the run at the camera. It switches at the back, and you get confused. And you're like, "Wait, nope, stop, go back." Why is there six pedals when there's only four directions? <laughs> Warning: Not a toy. Wear eye protection to prevent surgery to the eye before using. Read owner's manual available from customer Corman Core, Bluefield, New York. Well, shit. <laughs> To the bathroom! I'm gonna play some weird shit. The fuck is that? Yeah. Uh, if you want your own version of the voodoo shotgun, uh, there's. I picked mine up at, um. I picked mine up at, uh, Farm and Fleet. About 30 bucks. Say it's worth it. About oh, yeah. two feet in length, fully, I'd say it's about like two feet in length, fully extended. <clears throat> What's your overall star rating for this? Um, well, since I don't know how well, since we couldn't see exactly how accurate the thing was, because it was at night. Mm-hmm. Uh, but for the uh, handling, the magazine capacity, the overall weight, I'm not really used to that. We're using ones that are like, getting into ones that are like full metal, but hmm. uh, 
good density uh, plastic for that. I like the introduction of the adjustable stock. So, overall rating of this, and of course, seeing the <clears throat> FPS ranging out, average between, average at, averages out at 390. Yeah, 390. And it being powered, uh, yeah, I would probably give this, like, so I can actually do, like, a little bit better test than daylight. I'd probably give this about five and a half out of ten. Because I also because I don't know uh, the um, I want to say this is the company is a uh, Game Face. It probably is. Yeah, Game Face is the company, the airsoft company that makes this. So. That I, I don't know Game Face that well. But. Of course, uh. Can, uh. Take everything off and, uh. And the field stripping it. <coughs> like every other airsoft shotgun, so that's a good plus. Uh, so. I would probably have to, yeah, uh, give like a good five and a half out of ten. Five and a half out of ten? Yeah. So anything else you gotta say, or wanna say? <clears throat> uh, personally, I would have wished that it would be made out of a little bit... It says that it's made out of uh, synthetic. I don't know how strong that is compared to other plastics or metals, but probably would have liked this to be made out of maybe a maybe a slightly stronger material. Because anyone who's airsoft, anyone who's airsoft before, you'll know. Uh, demonstrated over here so I don't actually drop and break it uh -huh. like you're you're running through like an airsoft field you trip you fall and of course it's on a bed not gonna do much damage all right <clears throat> of course that's why when you have the sling on it but your airsoft and if you have the sling on it kind of uh, depending on how you're kind of depending on what your play style is You can kind of tell having the going to put the sling on again. If you're sitting there, you have the sling. It can get in the way depending on, especially if you have it at a certain length when you're doing that. Yeah, it can help, but most people that I've seen, they don't, they don't want. They run with the sling, but they usually have it over an arm, so it doesn't get in the way. And you can still trip and fall and. And your first instinct is to catch yourself a gun. That would be the only issue I have, is wishing that it would be out of a slightly stronger material. But other than that, it... it, it do you think it feels durable? I mean, we're not going to sit there and take a hammer to it. And see <laughs> it. <laughs> Definitely a plastic yeah. of some kind. It's like a PC material. I mean, it's... The barrel itself is about that thick. <clears throat> I think it's got that much thick plastic, so the barrel is that's good. Yeah. Hmm. Overall weight, uh, about the right size you would have for a uh, small uh, adjustable shotgun. Like I don't. The only thing that I'm not certain on is the uh, range, of course. Don't know how far uh, Pell is going to go. <clears throat> have to test that during the uh, daytime. I don't know if I can play this one, but... So, hey, 
It's your 20 minutes now. <laughs> 20 minutes, 40 seconds. Yeah, well, um, I mean, if I don't ever take this to, uh, take this to, like, a, uh, airsoft ring, because I don't know where there's any around, uh, Iowa, there's always, uh, Put this back real quick. What? Because it never gets used, so If I don't end up taking it with me to uh airsoft areas, there goes the pellet. I mean judging by with like the RPD outfit. <clears throat> um I guess it would make a good uh Shotgun to use for like a Resident Evil cosplay or a Call of Duty cosplay. So if I don't end up taking it to an airsoft thing, there's always that. So it'll still get used. But yeah, like. Um, 21 minutes, 50 seconds. Alright. Yeah. Yeah, I'd say it's pretty good. So yeah, I guess that wraps up the whole review for it. Yeah. I'm actually uh, happy about the price that I spent on it. How much was it? Uh, it was $29.99. Good price. Yeah. I mean, it's my second shotgun I have that actually works. The other, the other one I have is this cheap Walmart brand, but... So for a decent handmade, for a decent plastic shock, uh, soft shotgun, for about thirty bucks, you can get it at Farm and Fleet. Yeah, I got mine at Farm and Fleet. I don't know if uh, Game Face has any other places online. But you could probably always go to the website, probably www.gameface.com. Yeah. All right. Well. <laughs> Well, until I figure out what to call myself, uh, see you guys.